In this activity 3.5 Applied Statistics, we are going to collect data and perform a statistical analysis to determine measures of central tendency and variation of the data. You will represent the data using a histogram. So make sure you have the following equipment. I need a notebook, pencil, dial caliper, and audible blocks wheels. You need 10 of them. For step one, uh, we are going to use this data here and create a table and find the mean, median, mode, range, and standard deviation of this data. So part of the manufacturing quality control testing for a toy is to measure the depth of the connector piece that must fit into another part. The design depth is 4.1 centimeters. Every tenth part on the production line is measured, and this is the data that was collected. So go ahead and open up Microsoft Excel and write out your data just like you see here. So take a moment to pause the video and do that step now. Once you have your data typed out like you see here, we're going to do some uh, cleanup to organize our data. First thing we want to do is click on the data, highlight all of it, and move your mouse to the top part like you see here. And it should, your mouse should look like that. We're going to click and drag that into the B column. And in A13, we're going to type mean, press enter, median, mode, range, and oops, and standard deviation. So right now the data needs a little bit of help being organized. So we're going to highlight the data. And in the Home tab on the right side, we have Sort and Filter. So we're going to sort from smallest to largest. And we're going to continue with Current Selection and then Sort. What that does is it takes the smallest number, puts it in the first column or first uh, cell, and it goes all the way to the largest. To calculate for mean, we're going to write this formula. Type the equal sign, AV. You're going to see a little menu pop up. We're going to double click on average. And we're going to then highlight the data we want to calculate. And then press enter. So our average right now is 4.07. For median, we do something very similar. We type the equal sign, type need or med. Double click on median, highlight the data and only the data, make sure not to highlight the average, and press enter. So our median is 4.1. Our mode, very similar process, so type mode, so equal mode, double click on mode single, and double click, highlight that, and press enter. Range is the max minus the min. So we're going to type equal sign, click on the max number, type the minus sign, click on the min number, and press enter. Our range is 0.6. And for standard deviation, we type equal sign, ST, find the STDEV symbol here, double click that, highlight your data, and press enter. Now that we found this data, we're going to go ahead and write our answers on our worksheet. So write mean, median, mode, range, standard deviation on your worksheet. So we finish uh, 1A in our work. The next part says to create a frequency histogram for the data using the grid below. Uh, we're going to make our histogram in Excel. I'm going to print that and then just cut, cut it out and paste it to this grid. Let's go ahead and create our frequency histogram for the data. In Excel, in D1, I want you to type bin limit. The bin limit is basically one of each of the pieces of data. So there's only one, 3.8, there's one, 3.9, 4, 4.1, 4.2, Four point three, four point four. So we don't need to write every single piece of data, just one of each piece of data. These bin limits will help us create our frequency chart. And E1, type 
frequency. And E2 is where we're going to put our code or formula, whatever you want to call it, in order to calculate the frequency of each of these pieces of data. So click on that cell, click on formulas and the formulas tab, more functions, statistical, scroll through, and click on frequency. The function arguments window will pop up and it's asking you for data array and bins array. Our data array is this column here. So make sure that's blinking in that text box and highlight the data you want to um, use as your array. Make sure not to highlight any of the other information here. Click on your bins array box and highlight your bin limit data and then click OK. So right off the bat it shows that the frequency of three so now that we know um, that 3.8 is um, 1, we're going to click on all of these cells. We're going to highlight all these cells. And we're going to make that code uh, repeat itself through here. But there's a special way to do it. So you have to click in the function uh, box here. And when you do that, make sure that cursor is blinking and you'll see things get highlighted here. And the trick to this is to press Control Shift and then press Enter. And once you do that, you get the frequency of each piece of data on the right side here. So we see that 3.1 shows up three times. And if we were to count that, we, we see that 1, 2, 3, 4.1, 4.1, 4.1, 4.1. So now we know our frequency of each of our pieces of data. And we want to represent that in a histogram chart. So we're going to highlight our frequency here. Okay, so highlight even the word frequency. And go to the insert tab, click on column, and you're going to select the first column. And you have created a chart. This chart is not complete yet. Uh, move it underneath the data, uh, just like you see here. And we're going to uh, format some of this uh, so that makes a little bit more sense. So in frequency, double click that, type histogram, click on this frequency and press delete. And we're going to right click on the horizontal data and then select data. And we want that to be our bin limits. So we're going to click on edit and then highlight our bin limits, click OK, click OK. And what we see um, is our bin limits at the bottom, which is good. <clears throat> Click on the format. I'm sorry. Go to access titles, vertical axis title, rotated title. And we're going to type frequency here. So frequency. And now we see our data visually. So we can see that. 4.1, the measurement for 4.1 happens three times. And in our uh, lesson here, in our, in our activity here, it says that the part was designed to be 4.1 centimeters. And we can see that most of the parts are 4.1 centimeters. And that's a good thing. However, we do have um, several parts that are out of that 4.1 range. This should be more tight. And you know, I don't know I don't know the actual manufacturing limits of that part, but I would say that some of these parts probably would get ditched and um, not used because they're not close enough to the 4.1 measurement that we need. So uh, make sure your name is on this, and we're going to print this out. So you're going to highlight all that you see here. Press Control P. Make sure this says print selection. Make sure you only see your data with your name on it and it says one of one. Go ahead and uh, ask for help to connect to the printer in the classroom and click print. You're going to need to change it to the correct printer. Once your data is printed, uh, you're going to stable it to the back of this. That's for this. So you now have completed. Um, 
1A and 1B. We're going to move on to number two here. And it says, gather measurement data taken by your teammates on activity 3.3, making linear measurements for the outside diameter of the wheel. So what you're going to need is 10 automoblox wheels. And you're going to do the same thing. You're going to measure out the automoblox wheels 10 times. And you're going to create a chart exactly like this. Find the mean, median, mode, range, standard deviation. Uh, figure out the bin limit. Calculate frequency. Create a histogram. And print that and attach it to your worksheet.